Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Dr. Darren coming to you from A1. So thanks for joining this session. And so we actually from A1, we actually is as an online marketplace for all kind of local classes as well as we actually provide system for learning center in Malaysia and regional cities. So welcome to our tonight to our episode number one, which A1 live series. So on new normal in, in education. So the purpose of this series of A1 live series is one to because we all know what is happening in the past month. And now all the business is just starting to get back, getting back to the to the to the new norm. So we call it new normal because things may not be the same as what we we as encounter before uh, March 2020. So particularly in education, we want to really know what is the new norm in education, particularly in different industry. So today our first episode will start with the music industry. And we have the privilege to invite Serene Chum from Music Pioneer to be our first guest in our series of A1 Live session. Welcome, Serene from Music Pioneer. Hi, everyone. My name is Serene. Hope my line is okay today. Yeah, hi, Darren. Can you yeah, hear that? Serene. So, yeah. so, so if you know anyone who is in, in, in this music industry, like anyone mm -hmm. of you guys, you know anyone in this industry, no matter it's a music teacher, music school, even student teacher, or edu any educators, tag them in now. Share our today event because we have Serene Siam here to, to <laughs> share with us the new normal in, uh, in music, particularly in music education. So uh, let me share a little bit on who is Serene. So I, I believe that everyone knows who is Serene. And she oh. also my idol as well, and a local <laughs> celebrity. And she has a uh, 18 years experience behind her teaching and judging over hundred of music competition in the country. And she also features in interview in more than 400 media exposure, including local and China media. And she have worked with local media as well as M Center, a group of music schools in Malaysia. Maybe something that. I will let Serene to introduce what is M, -Cent M, -M, -M -Cent Center. Okay. And she tours and speak more than 100 talks in music school, colleges, university to share the concept of transforming music into career. So this is a simple introduction. So probably Serene, you can share yep. about like who are you and I believe everyone know who I is. So maybe you can share about you and, and what is music in here. Okay, basically me and my team, uh, uh, I have a lot of experience in the industry, especially in the entertainment line. But my dream is actually uh, education. I would always like myself to be in the education line because I, I, I love it so much to share my experience, especially what I went through uh, in the industry, no matter in uh, music production or music copyrights, publishings, uh, project management or even accounts business and as uh, and even concerts so I went through a lot of experience through these 18 years uh, in the entertainment line especially in the recording industry and uh, music scoring for TV and also uh, film film industry uh, and uh, uh, I have my very own music school actually for about 12 years, if I'm not wrong, 12 years. And it's currently actually managed by other management uh, where I, whereby I, I am no longer in the music school now. Uh, I'm not really managing it. Uh, and uh, just now that you mentioned what is M Center, right? M Center is actually, uh, I, I formed it during uh, since uh, 2017, uh, which that time I actually wanted to let go my school because my dream is bigger than a school, I wish that I could set up a community to actually help more music school to grow. Because I believe to help the music industry, uh, the first thing is to assist or uh, uh, give support to local music school and also music teachers. Because only this way, we can actually help the uh, students whereby they are the future of the music industry. So that is what in my mind. Okay, thanks, thanks for thanks, Serene, for your introduction. 
So the purpose of today's session because new norm in music education as we actually running an A1 for some, some years we get to know a lot of the music school and also other industry and this this crisis or this we call like COVID crisis and also MCO is really bring a huge impact to our business especially in education business until now we we actually not really 100% sure that we actually can resume our uh, center operation 100% hmm. to conduct the physical classes or not and of course this is is there's a risk here but of course we can see a lot of opportunities as well so actually yeah. if you don't grab the opportunity whatever left over for you is the risk so I mean the first question for Serene like so what is your view for the whole situation right now and how do you think this is a, a more to a, the crisis or it's more to the opportunity or actually it's a mix of, of both and how do you think that it's an impact to the music industry? Okay I think a lot of music school they are not really really ready with uh, online. Uh, I, I can't say it is a crisis uh, I can say it's a it's a movement or revolution or something that we call improvement because actually online education in uh, overseas is very normal and it's, it, it is uh, like a like like uh, what we, we doing now we daily go we go through uh, meetings on zoom things like that is a norm actually in overseas as well but just that because of the COVID-19 uh, I think it's the uh, I don't see the bad bad side like I, I know there's a, a, of course a lot of issues that happen because of this COVID nineteen but I I would encourage more music teachers to see the the good side lah because with all these uh, uh things happen students actually started to engage or use the technology to actually go for online classes and even parents they actually uh, learn to use Zoom as well. So I think at least it forced us uh, to to move forward to learn something uh, that we never touched before or we never used to. So uh, I got a lot of feedback from music teachers because uh, these three weeks I'm meeting more than 80 overs of uh, music school and music teachers. I, I would like to share about their feedback to you guys later on. If you guys got questions, please uh, write on the comments. Yes. Yeah, we 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 will like the online education. Sometimes maybe it's a norm in in overseas countries, yeah. but in Malaysia or in locals, uh, it's a new norm. It's something new to us, even though it's already like very normal in in other cities like online education. But but this COVID, I mean, this MCO really force everyone to to go beyond that yes. something we never tried before. Like like for instance, like previously we have a lot of meeting. No matter what, we always used to meet face to face. Yeah. Right now, I mean, MCO forced us to, to meet on Zoom and now we feel it's okay. Well, it's a it's a change yeah. of behavior. Same yeah. as in education. So it is a huge change of behavior. And but not hundred percent could be not hundred percent actually everyone actually able to 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 to, to follow the, the change. Some they feel follow, they feel eh, hey, even better. I don't need to, to drive to the to the music school or don't need to drive the learning center to, to for the class it's much mm. easier i switch on and i can learn already and yeah. some they feel like still lack of some of the interaction with the teacher or instructors and yeah. like in music education like it's like online on like because also, also for the educator also sometimes yeah we can see there are two groups of educators probably yeah. there are some actually they adapt very fast so all online so they switch their all the lesson they promote online and they change their model they can even get more students that way and they yeah. can even get the student from overseas as well but there are some of them they actually just wait they are not sure what to do next so and then in 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 online education in music so so um personally i'm not really a music guy but okay. of course, sometimes like when do when think of like online education or music industry, like particular for instance like how to learn a piano or guitar or walker, do, do what what do you think about the challenges of this specific like do it like like online education on like learning a piano one to one basis or group basis? What is the challenges or maybe walker for instance like the sound may not the really the same as my actual sound if. If you do it online or remote, what is your what's your what is your thought of that? 
Hmm. Actually, the feedback is not from myself. As I mentioned, I meet a lot of music school and uh, principals and teachers that they feedback to me. Uh, I myself is a musician for many, many years, like about 20 years actually. So uh, online actually and offline is a, is a big difference, of course. Uh, let us start with uh, about uh, music uh, teaching online. What is and bad for for offline and o- online? Basically, when we do online music teaching, the the main problem I think is uh, the in- internet speed lah. The speed because sometimes it's it is cut off or it, it will be it will be dragging. You see, or some delay things like that. And because like uh like when you guys are listening to me now. It's actually not my real tone or my real character of my voice, you see, because I don't go through any microphones now. I just speak in front of the laptop. So in in the case that, uh, let's say, you, you want the student to sing, you must be able to listen to their, their real tone. And how are you going to judge them uh, uh, correctly or, or uh, precisely on their rhythmic and things like that? If the internet is delayed, then it's a big problem for them to, to judge on all these, you see. Especially music is about rhythm, accuracy, things like that. So this is the problem on the vocal parts. But if you talk about instruments, nowadays there is already a lot of recording gadgets that uh, actually we can just connect our instruments to a mixers and then uh, uh, then we actually uh, plug it into the laptop and then we can just uh, zoom like that. Then teachers can actually hear the actual quality, you see. So guitar, drums, all this, we have digital drum at, at, the, at the same time. And I just have a five minute chat before the live stream with uh, Roland, Roland Asia Pacific. They said that their product is even uh, selling better than before, you see. I can say that because it's uh, students that they, they learn from home, uh, they have to own a music instrument so that they can proceed, you see. And also when musicians in the music industry, the, they cannot perform outside now. So the way they perform is through the online streaming. So we, if they want to do this online streaming, they, they must buy an instrument, especially a digital one, a normal acoustic one. It, it will be very, uh, very susa for them to actually kickstart like, because they need a very good mic to capture the whole range of the piano uh, sound to list to be able to listen to the high and mid and low frequencies so that we can judge whether they are pressing it nice enough or the touch is good enough things like that so it's a very uh, difficult issues for them to go online uh, but another way i can say that a lot of teachers are uh, is surprisingly they i can say 80 percent of the music teachers feedback to me they love online teaching because when we do online teaching, just like I, I, I'm having an interview session with you, I'm so focused that I don't do other things. I don't chit chat. I have to focus and talk to you and my eye is looking at you, you see. So the focus is very good. And then the teacher said, uh, most of the teacher's feedback said, the student improved even better than offline because the student have to learn to manage, to uh, uh, receive instruction. They, they have to listen carefully what the teacher say and they have to do it themselves without any guidance. So when you're in the offline class, teachers might need to pull their hand here and then put there, then teach them how to play, show them, right? But this one is very hard to show them. So students even take more initiative to go online and watch YouTube after uh, some of the uh, uh, reference links is given by the teachers. So they, they learn even more, you see. And when they go and watch the uh, YouTube links uh, that provided by the teachers, they will find that they have the motivation and they have the interest suddenly in music. So they even learn uh, more in a, in a passionate way, I can say. Uh, and parents also very happy. Uh, there's one very funny sto- story that the parents said, it's very good to go online. If let's say today I forget the class or I got something very busy on, right? I just drive or, or anything. My, my children can just online la, learn some theory first. La. Better than I go and replace the class last next time la, very fastly to manage all the schedule, things like that. So they would even ask for like, uh, can I have my my my, uh, my kids to have, uh, uh, let's say one month, uh, two class with you uh, for online and two class offline. They would even prefer that now, you know. So this is the, uh, the, the answer I, I got from the music schools la, and teachers. La. 
Mm. Yeah, wow, it's very good sharing because it's you see like there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of the good experience mm. that you actually see and the first thing the parents actually accept that because like maybe before March maybe I want think mm. that is online and online the education can work for instance for my kids like I don't think they can focus but eventually after we try it and we, mm. we, we get used on that and we experience that that's really working that's something so yeah. so it's it's quite quite surprised that you mentioned like online yeah. education the efficiency even even higher than the offline education like mm -hmm. like we always think that offline always the best because the teacher in front of you teach you i can see directly so it could I think, be something uh, but uh, like it, it turns out to be not really in the real case in in that is that's really good but for how how about that if like the kids for instance like quite young so so mm -hmm. we all know like the young kids could be the attention span will be much shorter so it's to see like the challenges in in here like for those like adult or teenager or i want to learn music i want to learn piano so one to one i will focus the whole uh the whole session for one hour for instance or 45 minutes or 30 minutes so mm -hmm. yeah like, like do you see like think, young kids i think it's very dependable on the instrument as well la. Not all the instruments can be very well done online. La. I can say um, some of the instruments that they, they still need to really go offline, especially like things like drum. Uh, but uh, eventually, I also asked my friends, they managed to actually teach drum online as well. So I'm very surprised. La. But uh, uh, I think uh, even after the the COVID is gone, la. but I think it's not so fast, la, frankly speaking, but after <laughs> it's gone, you, right? Gone. I think it, it, it must be a hybrid already for all business, you see, especially for music teaching career, because it's, it's already proven that it can be done online. It can be done online. So and if, if it's very, uh, it can be done online means that uh, uh, the, the things that we need to change is actually the outline of the program like how we should guide them to be independent enough to manage their instruments and to pre-record the videos or pre-record the audio so that you can send over to the teachers and they can comment accordingly to the audio that you send out. So it might be very uh, different way. It's not just everything to be online. It might be after even after the class, you have some follow-ups or some mails to be sent to, or you have to post something on your YouTube so your teacher can go and go there and watch, you see. But I think it's very good practice for the children nowadays because they are so used to the internet and they, they know how to use. They, they, they can even shoot the video and they do it even better than adults, you see. Like so TikTok, I think like TikTok now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, JT okay. has set up online guitar course, you see. And uh, I got one uh, uh, case today that happened. Uh, I saw two music schools that they are sharing about uh, a poster that they are they are hiring, hiring an online music teachers. So if there's no demand, I don't think I can see that poster. Lah. So I think children, parents still feel that their children need to learn something even they stay at home. So for sure, in future, if they get used to it, I think they, they can accept both. Lah. Just their, their choice of whether they want to uh, be a hybrid kind of uh, situation or they want to stay fully online or fully offline. But I would encourage all music schools and also music teachers to go hybrid. Lah. Yeah, I think it's for the first step. So you want to really, before we step in to really run the online classes, our mindset should believe this is working. So once our mindset set, oh, this is working, then we will go for the first step to, to try it out. And maybe yeah. we will actually even plan a hybrid syllabus for offline and online. And I, I think what you actually mentioned is really is, is even more efficient if you go online and offline. Time efficient, maybe a money, money efficient and also eventually we get the result even faster. Mm -hmm. So that is, I think, is really a, the moving forward the new normal in music music, music education or any other mm -hmm. other type of med, uh, education could be a blend or hybrid mm -hmm. between online and offline so mm -hmm. for 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 life so so what we actually mentioned more on the online education earlier is the live mm -hmm. teaching so there are another scope of online education more the like they record 
they record and probably they they sell their online 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 courses and that that lesson can be replay replay again so that's already uh being practiced in like like some of the platform like udemy in in us or some so mm. it's very common in in other other countries so what do you think yeah. about this model of education online education in music industry okay. I see uh, a question from Annie actually, Annie Chin. Uh, she said, if teacher can teach online, will they still need to engage music school? What is your view on this? Okay, actually Annie, uh, I need to like uh, uh, explain a bit. Uh, from my point of view, I think offline is still very important. It's still very important because music is about expressing interaction. Uh, we need, need to we need to have uh, sometimes uh, motivation with touch, you see. And especially kids, they need to learn things, discipline, so they need uh, adults to sit beside them and to guide them. I still believe in all, offline, actually. Uh, for me, online is a different market. When we uh, pl plan our business, our strategies, to actually uh, uh, promote or build uh, on online lesson, it will be very different. And the aim of doing uh, having an online class online is actually to get visibility of uh, the music teachers to showcase themselves. Let's say, for example, if you are in KL, a Johor student that they would like to learn from you. So it will be very possible if they are, let's say, 13 years old and they are still in the school. You see, they are in the school of uh, secondary school in Johor. But they like you and they want to learn from you. So this is a chance for you to open up your market so that the Johor student will actually try to engage with you first. And this market is very special. It's like a trial and test, you know. Even like when you eat food, you need to taste first, right? Then you taste it, you feel it good, then you buy it. So if the Johor students learn online from you and he she, he or she tested she said i believe in this teacher i trusted her so much i think she she explained so well that i can accept so maybe after form five she, she or he if she really like you he will come to you one even from Johor or from from east malaysia they will fly here i got even china student really fly here for class one because they know it is worth after they test it online but if without online you can't even do this market you know i mean you can't even do this uh, free tasting uh, uh market you see so i myself are uh, not to say that i agree online is a is a is a good thing but online is a must because i feel that if you do online it drives more to offline as well so music school might even grow better if you got online courses to be upload because there's one only one reason the behavior of uh, the children that they how they learn how they learn things nowadays children learn things through scrolling at TikTok, facebook ig youtube so by studying learning behavior you will understand that children no longer will actually go to some place and sit there and then listen. They will go through online first. This is how you also search for something in Google first before you go and buy, right? So by learning the human behavior and also uh, children or adults nowadays, they don't have uh, much time to actually uh, really try first. They don't have time to try first. So it's either they straight away see the product is good, they buy it. If they feel that I don't know whether it's good, then they might stop one, you see, because they, they don't have much time to, to test anymore. Now, nowadays, people is too busy. And I can I can say that children nowadays, they are very picky. They only pick what they want to learn. I believe that a lot of music schools started to teach pop music because to learn a music that motivate and make them passionate enough, they have to learn something that they listened before, they heard in the market before. So besides Beethoven and Bartok and also all the uh, uh, all the classes that they they learn, uh, they actually they actually wanted to to learn something very pop as well, uh. So I think uh, I encourage uh, uh, music school to move a bit online, twenty percent, so that you got your brand visibility uh, brand visibility in the market as well to bring more to offline. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, music school actually we already have the resources. We have teachers, and we want to. It's it's a chance because this 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 period actually already teach or educate what is online education to everyone, 
and this is the golden opportunity for us to to be ready at the front line to capture mm-hmm. the opportunity to be the, the to, to be the first to take the opportunity as as i mentioned earlier it's like this period people a lot of people see this is a risk and there are some people see this is an opportunity so if we mm-hmm. remove opportunity whatever left over is risk so we should really take the opportunity as what serene mentioned probably like that music education online music education can even go even beyond KL your area could be mm-hmm. even you go to the international level to capture china market or some of the some of the yeah. regional markets that you always want to go or there's there's no so all the country actually looking at the same thing on the online education right now so there's no like like boundary whether oh this is too far this is too 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 distant i need to drive so far so there's no such concern it's really a good opportunity to go all out so so just how i mentioned more on the like online education is we have a live teaching how what is your view like like for instance like those recorded videos do you see a lot of like the trend is that working and that mm, actually uh uh, for this issue, right, I actually set up a music school and music teachers community, you know. Uh, I do want to share a bit. Like, actually, I, I, I already wanted to set up this uh, model since 2017, but I got it failed because uh, people tell me online is difficult, so cannot one. Uh. So this COVID-19 forced them to make it can, you see. So for me, there's nothing impossible. It's only we want to, we want to achieve uh, or not. And it's either slower or faster. The achievement will be there one. I believe 5G will come and 5G will settle all these uh, issues that about delay. La. And the the uh, product that is uh, going to be uh, uh, invented in future, for sure it will be it will settle all these issues that we, we deliver online one. So I, I myself quite believe that uh, Internet is a very strong uh, strategy instead to to build a business that is offline, especially uh, a music school that is good, they will grow even better. And then music school that is not so good, I think, sorry, they will be gone. But this is how the world happens. You see, good things, it will, it will, it will continue to stay on. And, and, it's, and this is a good uh, competition and healthy one that to make the world better. So I think what we can do is we don't blame the COVID-19. We don't say that internet is hard. We don't say that uh, it makes us very suicide cause to offline. But I know everyone is very difficult now. But since it's very difficult and it might have even longer period for us to go through this because some of the parents even feedback to the music school that I know, they said, I know you are open on July, la, but I don't think I will come back first. La. See how it goes. You see, and... If, if the case is like that, uh, means that the, the the people is not so confident yet to, to to let their children to go back to class, you know. Even maybe they go back also once a month like this. So are we going to just sit there and wait and then wait for the parents to be very okay to come back like a normal uh, classes? Uh? So I think uh, better we be prepared and we don't blame and... Uh, the reason I set up this music school uh, and teachers community, I've actually set up a whole bunch of training to teach them how to use Zoom, what is the equipment that helps them to do online. And I even set up an e-store to even help them to park their class online. And with all the great payment gateways that they can even get a uh, uh, student to pay by those la, touch and go uh, payment gateway already. So this is what we music Premier Malaysia can do to help the music teachers. Like. That's why why today I'm here to share because I wanted to let pe- more people know you are not alone. We are actually here to to support, you see. Yes. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yes, correct. It's it's the mindset. Like I, I think someone actually commented just now is so it's the mindset that we want to change before we have the next action that whether how we want to adapt the online educate education. And like Serene also mentioned, the 5G will come. While we're coming, the, the, the future opportunity come reach to, to, to our footsteps. So whether we actually ready to grab it. So there is something that we actually can prepare right now. Of course, we need to have an open mindset, uh, open open mind to have that in, in place to prepare for that. So actually, I actually do a little bit of a study on those 
though some some of the some of the cases that uh, some of the teachers I heard they can actually earn a lot like a a, a, sing, a single instructor or teacher they actually can earn a lot through just like a a, a series of online courses mm. so so if you do you have any like that kind of the because you are in, the, in this industry maybe you see more maybe some of the example from 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 overseas or China or Taiwan that they yeah. actually can earn a lot even 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 just using just 100% online courses so do you see some yeah. some of the example like this actually i can share my experience about music business in education i think no one ever wanted to actually bring out this topic i i i myself in malaysia i I'm, I've been educators, uh, music educators for 18 years, but I never attend any music business uh, in education lines, in music, music business uh, classes or master classes in education. Uh, but I want to tell everyone here, if you are music teachers, try to think about inflation. I always encourage the music teachers that uh, actually a lot of my students, they are music teachers and they own a music school now. So I always encourage them. If you want to do you want to set up a music school you have to know how to do it but not just to do it like what is uh what other people is doing okay the main thing is like uh can you imagine that uh, 10 years ago your school fees is about 120 or 100 for grade one and after 10 years uh, our school fees is 150. how many percent do you think it is raised and 10 years before when you eat one roger and now one roger is is three times or four times already, you see. So can you imagine 10 years later on in our future? Maybe our school fees for grade one is about 160 to 180, but our roja is 15 ringgit. So can we survive our uh, music teachers? And I found one thing that uh, music teachers is no longer a respected profession. Why I say so? Because uh, when you, you work longer in duration, you have more experience but doesn't mean that your school fees is higher. It is because it, we, we didn't educate the parents and the children. You want to look for a good teachers, a good teachers is a lot of demand. So to grab their time for you, they have they can only cater one day like three students maximum for professional and focused training. So that's why they are high price. But in local, I can say, sorry, maybe someone will attack, uh, will, 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 will attack me later on. But I can, I, I need to say the truth that uh, parents don't understand. They just feel that, oh, normal grade one is 120. Why the other school is 120 and why your school is 160. And my school last time, my level one is 350. I think no one charged higher than my school. But I think I have to because i want to focus and make sure she can do it so to make sure she can do it even the class is just one hour but back end i spent five hours to prepare for this one hour you know so that's why we charge 350. so we don't value the time and the, we don't value the class with the time and the duration you know don't bargain with the music school say uh, it's just 30 minutes then that school 45 minutes don't bargain with the time don't bargain with the duration it's the quality of the teacher that is matter so we encourage uh, more music school to be brave enough change raise your price if you think your teacher is good just go ahead if they like you they will like you just just do it yes that's how we actually need to 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 change the business like, in the music school, I just feel that. Like, yeah. So, and the, the, the question that you just now you asked about, uh, you see a lot of people now uh, doing a lot of education online, right? For free. They actually just shoot a short video, like 10 tips for you to actually be able to sing a very nice falsetto and to be able to, to manage it very well. Or uh, three tips that you can uh sing without stress stressing your throat things like that although you see the topic like it's very funny and sometimes even teacher will scold them so what a youtuber that is doing things like that uh to 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 make fun of this what stress the throat there's nothing there's no words like this in the vocal techniques or or vocal skill but that is the way that they engage the children to be understand to understand what they want to deliver Actually, we, we, we don't complain again. We don't complain. It's a very good topic that you attract the student to actually understand what are you going to de deliver 
in their layman term first. Then when you come in, make sure you deliver the proper way of how to actually make them understand the three step to sing without stressing your throat, things like that. But that, then you can see, actually, the future of the music education business, I can say it will go with the freemium style. Freemium style means that, do you believe if you teach and you don't charge a cent for school fees? I think this, this era will come soon. Instead, it's already happened. As you can see, YouTube is one of the, uh, the real example. Do you think people teach on YouTube for free? They, do they charge any school fees? They don't. They don't charge a cent. But what they get is when they teach, they get a lot of uh, eyeball to their YouTube channels. And the eyeball makes them earn the uh, income that is actually coming from the advertisement. So this is a three-way kind of uh, marketing strategy. So uh, I can say premium is the, is the next uh, wave la. besides the online thing la, the the premium is the bad is the is the net waste with instead you see facebook uh if you are a gamer you will know facebook that has a virtual uh gift uh system for gamers who play game on facebook right normal people can just virtual give let's say a 100 uh coins with one ringgit and they can actually just distribute these 100 coins to the gamers you know when they like it they just they just uh, give the coins to the gamers. This is actually derived from the China platform, lah, okay, whereby the broadcaster, they do it this way. Lah. But Facebook already has this feature, means that sooner or later, it will be open to public. And anyone who actually live stream in IG or Facebook, they will actually get a lot of people who give them the virtual gift, whereby this virtual gift can be converted into money. So you think if you think deeper means that a lot of the business model will change in future more and more people will do freemium education and i think a lot of you heard before that uh, a lot of people say education is free education should be free you see uh, i don't know when this will be happen but i think the younger generation they will start doing it for free so if the music school or music teacher, you don't see this as a very serious case to actually adapt yourself to go online, uh, then you might be very stressed in 10 years time when the VR, AR, blockchain, and also the 5G is coming, then you will get like this stress. So we wanted to start to deliver all this information and get the teachers to be ready. Um, we build this community so everyone work together. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't uh, look down on everyone. We want to support everyone. And instead, I ask all the music teachers and music school to work together to make sure everyone grow together. Yes. Wow, wow. Means mm. I have only said freemium. Oh. It's like, like yeah. I, I, I just about to ask, like, like, why is the minimum charges usually they charge? But it's free. <laughs> it's free. So, because sometimes mm -hmm. the online education, the uh, like if you deal with parents also, if you deal with some student, like right now lah, they will actually ask, uh, could it be cheaper in you teach online or maybe 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 mm -hmm. offline will be so there is a common question, so that's why we come in our mind, like usually how how do people charge online and then of course freemium is 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 moving forward, that is the that is the direction. But right now, like usually like student or parent, they'll check eh, any percentage discount because you go online easier, that kind of thing. Mm, but I encourage uh, parents don't try to negotiate with teachers now. Lah. Because firstly, if they do online, they actually have to invest equipment, you see, instruments and equipment so that your kids can actually listen to them better. And because doing online, they have to prepare so many uh, presentations and they need to design the slight things like that for your kids, you see. They, are, they have even more jobs. So please lah, don't, don't discount, don't ask for discount pay the teachers as when you are working very uh, badly at be, be beside your kids. Your kids is being uh, taken care online by that teacher that they also help you to take care of your children, you see. So try to appreciate the teachers and actually continue the class or even double up the class for you, your children to learn it. So this is what I, I, I would like to say to support more of the teachers. Wow, wow, wow. 
So, mm. so just as I mentioned about like the group or the music teachers or the the school that actually providing, is that the M Center that just as I mentioned? Uh, now we call it actually the education community by musicpreneur, because we uh we want everyone to actually don't see our website as a platform or an e-commerce platform. We want everyone to understand we don't build the platform to grow a business only. That's not just a business. Actually, we want to grow a community, and this plus platform is only one of the channels. I get my IT team, my marketing, my sales, my accounts, my audits to actually build a channel for them to grow their business. And it might be one of the channel only. And in future, we might have different channels. And in this community, I'm very appreciate that a lot of music schools principal they join, and after the training, they even I very it's very warm and lovely uh, uh, situation that I saw that. Uh, I, they, they tell me, can I invite my music school teachers to, to come in and listen to your training so that my teachers can even be aligned with me? So I think, you see, wow, well, I can see a lot of principal is so give, like a givers, you know. They don't even like hold back their teachers. Oh, better I learn this online first. I don't let my teachers learn first. They grow like a family. So I, I, I pretty like education is because I see this is very different, you know. So I, I'm very appreciate that uh, most of the music school that they join, they encourage their teachers to, to grow together with them. This is what happened actually. We we just go through uh, three e private invitation seminars with all these music school and teachers, and uh, eventually I'm 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 very uh, how to say uh, seriously. I I pick them. I don't invite everyone. I go to their Facebook and see one by one. Are you really a music teacher? Are you really own? Do you really own a music school? Are you bluffing me or things like that? I check one by one, you know, and then only I send them the Zoom invitation. But sooner or later, we are actually going to open this platform for uh, other music teachers and music school to actually go together with us, lah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's a community, it's a support group as well, and and we support each other like in the music industry. It's, mm. it's quite amazing. So, what is your vision in in here in this direction? Your long your long term vision this. Actually, Music Premier Malaysia is a platform that is the middleman of music doer and learners. You know, we want to at first when we start up Music Premier Malaysia is because we find that there's no music business uh, training company. As I said, I'm very into industry, entertainment line, and also publishing, production, and copyrights. So I wanted to actually help the musician in the music industry, but uh, frankly speak, speaking, it's very hard to move the musician because firstly they have their own pathway already, and they have their own ideas already to self manage themselves. So what I can do is, uh, I think that we should help and assist the music school and music teachers because I believe that these people is a is a very important people ah uh, that they train the kids whereby this group of people is the future of the music industry so even my music uh especially i'm always on the news on uh, copyrights as you can see recently my facebook a lot of news on music everywhere, everywhere. actually yeah, when i opened I the facebook like to, i saw you <laughs> yeah i would like to share to music teachers not just about how to uh, set up an online course we even want to teach them how to set up their uh, profit and loss account in their website uh, in their website in their business so that they know how to calculate and i myself is taking classes from the mr peggy Hai here there whereby i saw in the live chat so my sifu is here to teach me how to do it so that i can actually deliver all this content to the music teachers to self-manage better that's why we call our brand music printer because you don't just do music you need to manage your music career that's the difference la. wow amazing so everyone if you want to find out why is music printer even further if you want to contact serene i think there's a link just now that you actually can can click in and try find find out why is it inside and and you actually will be impressed what serene and the team are doing right now yeah so so almost come to the, to, the, to the end of the session today. So like we all know that as a, at right now, of course, we, we talk about like maybe five years, 10 years later about the future of the music industry or music education 
is very much actually a blend or even in future is a total online and you go for the freemium model and whatever <laughs> we see right now is totally different maybe five even three or five years later just this period of of mco is as a expertise the awareness of the adoption of online online education actually is is very is very good in general for long term but as educator we really need to to switch or pivot our direction fast enough enough to capture the 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 the, the opportunity so yeah. So now we we all know that the music school will be opening like most from what I, what I understand is like most students they should opening in first of July. Yep. Yeah. So I think that is something that we really need to prepare right now, and we really believe that after first of July, there are, there are some of the parents also we have concern on. Hey, I don't send my kids or I don't want to go for the physical classes maybe till the end of the. So moving forward, of course, the next six months we really need to plan. So yeah. so the last week of June is very crucial for us, for educators, to plan ahead, and yeah. how we have the new normal of education starting first of July, and the arrangement of online and offline, and etc. So that is something. So so <clears throat> so before we end so uh, let me share a little bit on like from our side so because we deal with a lot of the learning centers or uh, even like uh not only not only music centers we actually have a lot of the tuition center dk centers there's something that uh we think digitalization is quite important so something that uh we actually can help with is like for instance like the new normal you could be want to avoid uh parents or or drivers or maid whoever come to your center to just to make cash payment so if you are you are we are actually helping like for instance like e-payment auto auto billing everything that is something that we can help with together with the thermal attendance taking that this is one of the i believe this is one of the requirement that we need to submit to ministry later on so yeah that is something that we can help and the most important part is uh, there is some that we actually know that is you actually can get the subsidy from government up to five thousand to to digitalize your it's it's a, it's a good timing to to start to digitalize your your center operation and so that you can manage everything at home and now it's a free money from government. So there is something from our side and this is towards the end. So do you have anything to add on? So like to our fellows, music teachers, uh, music school owners and other audience in, in today. So mm. Serene, do you have anything to add on? I would like to say that uh, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, 26, 26 and 27. Actually, I have uh, uh, two seminars that is conducting uh, where I actually only invite music teachers and music school principal and it's a it's a private sessions uh the topic is about together we explore the future of online offline music and also the second session will be how to join the music education community by our platform music printer so mainly i would like to see whether if there's uh, teachers would like to go online uh, and not to be alone to work together with uh, music school we have from sabah sarawak we got from Johor, we got from Penang, Kedah, KL, Ipoh. We got all these principles uh, that is in my WhatsApp group and in my uh, in my Facebook group in the community that they actually work together. And we got a lot of free trainings whereby all this training is actually even supported by the community itself. Let's say if you don't know how to do a drum online training, we got uh, people that is uh, teachers that is really knowing how to do that with equipment. I will invite them to come and share with you and all this is free. The community is trying to uh, uh, make things uh, help. You we help, help each other, yes. It's a freemium. Give so, us gain. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, even we all the, give then so that everyone will benefit from that. Yeah, I would like to introduce even more teachers to know your product as well because it actually helped them not just on the offline, but I think online they also need something uh, a management system to actually help them to manage better you see so uh again i would like uh, everyone to visit music asia 
so that you have can you can have a look first. At the moment, it's mostly uh, Mandarin courses because I'm uh, I'm trying with two music school to actually uh, build this uh, platform uh, by getting feedback from these two music school. But from July onwards, we actually open for other uh, uh, music school and teachers to actually start to park their uh, courses and open their online store in this platform. Yes. Wow, wow. So really, if you are the music teacher or you have someone in this industry, feel f must ask them to go to musicpioneer.asia to check out the, 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 the community that actually Serene actually built with. Mm -hmm. So so thanks, Serene, for today. You are really, really, truly a visionary music pioneer. She's really my idol. So, I'm very so <laughs> I hope you guys actually enjoyed today's session. And coming out, we have more session to features uh, the new normal in other in education in other industry like coding, like tuition, like and other stuff. So we also intention we want to build the community. We are actually mm. looking more on the wider side, like, the educators because this time everyone is feeling like like we need to need some support, and the support yeah. is very crucial. Even we start our centers back. But we will not go back to the to the to the norm to the norm that we before March twenty twenty. It's a new yeah. norm, and there's some period we some sort of like we need to recover our business, like oh yeah, that 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 the people is not coming back, then now my students is dropping everything. But things these are the things is only temporary. So there's a session. There is more session we will be conducting to support each other, and we start with music industry and later on we have more industry for for that so thanks thanks serene thanks everyone thank so have a good night thank you thank Stay you tuned. bye bye